everybody, it is Shard GVRP here, back again with another video on this channel. So before I actually get into the video, guys, please make sure to like and subscribe. Recently, YouTube has been removing a lot of my subscribers, and it's overall been really annoying. I don't exactly know why they've been doing it, but in the past week, I've probably lost about 26 subscribers in total just from YouTube removing them. So yeah, guys, please make sure to subscribe if you haven't already, or if YouTube actually just removed you as a subscriber. So uh, yeah, but anyways, in today's video, you guys we are going to be trying out roblox greenville on windows 11 so fun fact i actually like reinstalled windows 11 per like pretty much for this entire video because i i have actually downloaded it on this pc before but it was a bit like laggy and stuff because of the like dev build i guess you, you could say so i ended up reverting back to windows 10 but for this video i have actually gone back to windows 11 again um and yeah, we're just, we're just gonna see how everything kind of goes because I never really actually got the chance to play Greenville on Windows 11. So we're gonna kind of just see like what happens and stuff like that. But as you guys can see here, like the start menu and all of that is completely different. Um, it's all like nice rounded edges here. So like, for example, if we go over here, then we go like that. It's got like nice rounded edges on the windows. It sizes out really nicely. Um, the zooming in and out effects are really nice. Like it's overall just like a more refurbished version of Windows 10 pretty much. Um, like, it's not really, to be honest, much different from Windows 10, but it's just, like, basically the cleaner version of Windows 10. So, yeah. But anyways, guys, let's get into Roblox here, so I have actually already loaded in. So, it, it's a bit slow with the loading here, it's a bit laggy. Um, I'm pretty sure the reason why it's kind of lagging like this a little bit, though, is kind of because that this is actually, like, the dev build of Windows 11, so it's not even the full version. The full version is only meant to come out in, like, 2022. So, yeah, but I'm gonna get out, out in my Tesla Roads there and kind of test this thing and see, like, how fast it is and stuff like that. But yeah, right now my FPS seems a little bit less than usual, to be honest. Usually in a private server by myself, without the whole map being rendered, I'd probably get, like, 140 FPS looking this way. But, and I mean, okay, actually, I, I am getting that now, but before I was going under, so... Yeah, it's gonna be, I, I'd say it's gonna be a little bit laggier than, uh, Windows, uh, than Windows 10 currently is, but, um, yeah, it's not actually bad at all. Okay, we are stuttering a lot there, so, yeah, I'm actually gonna go out of full screen, like this, and then you guys can, like, kind of see the rounded edges. Oh my gosh, that's lag right there. Okay, when I move the windows, it lags like crazy, which on Windows 10 doesn't really happen, or at least in my case, it doesn't, so that's something, uh, that happens. But yeah, as you guys can see, it does have rounded edges, which is, on they honestly look very nice, but the game is just, the game just doesn't like the windows being sized out, um, while I'm playing the game. Otherwise, it kind of just makes the game lag. Like, let's see how much FPS I get when I do that. I go down to, like, almost, like, 10 FPS from doing that, so that's very bad, um, but I don't think people are gonna be sitting there sizing out their windows while playing the game, so not too much of a worry there. Plus, they will fix pretty much all of these issues by the time Windows 11 actually fully comes out. So, it's not really much of a worry at all. To be honest, it's actually... Like, I... Okay. I wouldn't honestly recommend playing Windows 11 um, for Roblox at the moment. Like, even though the operating system definitely looks and feels a lot better than Windows, uh, than Windows 10 currently does, it's just not worth it. The performance just isn't really what you want to... Like, what, what you would want to have, I guess. Um... Windows 10 just performs a whole lot better right now, so I'd rather honestly go for that. Like, after I record this video, I'm probably going to edit this on Windows 10 because I'm probably going to land up downgrading again. So, yeah, um, I'm basically, I've basically done this for you guys, so I've basically redownloaded the entire operating system for the single video. So, uh, yeah, make sure to leave a like for that. But, uh, yeah, honestly, it's not terrible, but it's just not ideal. Like, there's no point of like playing at a, on a laggier operating system when you could play on a smoother one even though this one definitely looks a lot better at the moment but um yeah it, it's just not the performance of it right now just isn't that good but yeah guys so i'm probably going to close out of the game now and kind of just show you guys like what windows 11 kind of is different for i guess so they do actually have like a couple new options here so if i if i just hover over this sizing button you can actually do that and like size your windows out i'm not going to open up discord though but you can do that sort of stuff um also when you're like sizing at your window it kind of looks like glass in a way and it comes up with this so you can do it like that it's actually really cool and really smooth 
Um, they all, they are also revamping the Microsoft Store eventually, but they haven't currently done that, so, yeah. Um, but yeah, it's honestly really good, to be honest. Um, the multitasking in this version is also really good, like, I can literally hover over this and then press new desktop, and I straight up have a brand new desktop. Let's say I want to, like, open up Discord on this desktop, well, it's actually just put me back to the other one, but just as an example, like, I can straight up, like, let's say I want Microsoft Store open up here. But then on the other one, on my other desktop, I only want to have these applications open, which is Discord and Chrome. So it's honestly like really, it's honestly like really cool. And you can even exit out and just go back like this. Um, a lot of people did say that this operating system looks a lot like Mac, uh, which it honestly does. It reminds me of Mac OS a heck of a lot. And I'm definitely not mad about it. I'm actually a pretty big fan of like the Mac OS like style, I guess you could say. Like I'm not a big fan of Macs. But when it comes to their, like, Mac OS, it's honestly, like, really sick. And, um, yeah, so I'm glad that Windows has actually, like, implemented a Mac feel into their operating system. So, yeah, but that's gonna conclude it for today's video, guys. Again, please, please make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Or if YouTube just removed you from my subscribers list. Because, I don't know why, but, uh, YouTube has been removing my subs for literally no reason recently. And I know that because they basically take away, like, a lot of your subs all at once. So that's how I know that it's them doing it. Um, so, yeah, guys. Please make sure to support me if you can. And, uh, yeah. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you, di uh, if you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like and subscribe, as I've already said. And, uh, yeah. Anyways, see you later, guys. And goodbye.